Hey, you know, there's a lot of questions tonight about the guns that were used. Were they legal? Were they automatic? Were they modified? Well, the answers to those questions will certainly be a big part of the political debate, which really has already started. And Faith Abube is here to help separate fact from fiction tonight about what weapons were actually used here. Yeah, so authorities in Las Vegas say Stephen Paddock came fully loaded with an arsenal of military-grade weapons. Police haven't said exactly what those weapons are yet, but law enforcement sources have told several media outlets at least one of the guns was fully automatic, including AR-15-style assault rifles. And we had local gun experts at Stoddard's Range and Guns listen to the disturbing audio from that shooting and weigh in. Take a listen. It certainly sounds like automatic gunfire. Uh, what we heard in that video sounded truly, honestly, like a machine gun. A semi-automatic gun doesn't sound like that. You, you, you don't have the rapid, um, the rapid gunfire that you hear. Uh, semi-automatic is you pull a trigger, it fires, you pull a trigger again. Um, this is, this is in, in rapid sequence, and, and that's what a, a machine gun, automatic weapon, sounds like. You know, Faith, you start talking about automatic weapons, people are wondering, well, where do you get those? How can you even get your hands on one of those types of weapons? You know, it's illegal to own or sell an automatic weapon made after 1986 to the average person who's not law enforcement or military. But there are some out there that were registered before 1986 you can buy legally, but it's rare and it's not cheap. Gun experts say they can go anywhere from $20,000 and up towards a million dollars. And you have to go through an extensive background check on the federal level, submit to fingerprints, photos, pay a $200 tax, register the actual serial number of that weapon, and in some cases, you even have to get a signature from a local sheriff or a police chief. And according to Steve Paddock's family, we know that this gunman is wealthy, and police say he barely had anything other than a traffic citation on his record. So it is possible, Vinny, he got an automatic weapon legally, but we just don't know for sure at this point. Now, a lot of people were talking about how easy it is or easier it is to get a semi-automatic weapon. And people are wondering whether or not he could have gotten a semi-automatic and maybe modified it and turned it into an automatic weapon. Is that even possible? That is very possible. And some media outlets are already citing sources that claim Stephen Paddock did that to at least one of the weapons. All you have to do is go on YouTube and you see videos, countless of them, just like this one. And there are kits you can buy online, $40, $50, to customize a semi-automatic into an automatic uh, weapon. And again, it's against the law to modify a semi without the right license to do so, but he might have. All right, Faith, thanks so much. Appreciate it.